Welcome to our class assembly. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have been learning about Jesus our Saviour. I have chosen the Bible because it represents Jesus' teachings. I have chosen to put a candle in the prayer table because it represents Jesus the light of the world. I have chosen the calendar because um, it says Jesus' teachings on it. To start off our learning, we need to understand that Jesus is both truly human and truly divine. Knowing the ways he is both truly human and truly divine would help us to begin to understand the event that took place over Easter. One piece of evidence that shows Jesus is truly human is that he was born of a mother. We know that all humans are born from a mother, meaning Jesus must be a human. Another piece of evidence that shows Jesus is truly human is that he was born a baby and grew up. He was raised by a family in a house in Nazareth. And Jesus also went to Jewish school like other human children do to learn. He had to study and he played with others that looked, spoke and acted similar to him. Furthermore, Jesus is truly human because he had emotions and feelings. For example, when he was betrayed by Peter, he might have felt heartbroken. And when he was at the Last Supper, he might have felt grateful to have his disciples with him. Therefore, there is much more evidence that can show you how Jesus is true. The definition of divine is from or like God or a, a God like, a God heavenly God like. One piece of evidence that shows Jesus is truly divine is upon seeing Jesus. Many people yes. reacted to Jesus as he, if he was God. They knew that they were in the presence of somebody divine, someone divine. Simon Peter replied, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Matthew chapter 16, verse 16. Another piece of evidence that shows Jesus is truly divine is through his life. Jesus was able to to complete miracles, which is a sign that he is divine. Only good like people are able to make what seems impossible, possible. Jesus also cured the man born blind, Mark chapter 8, verse 23 to 26. Furthermore, Jesus is truly divine because Jesus tells those he meets that he is one with God. I and the Father are one, John chapter 10, verse 30. After reflecting on the evidence that shows Jesus as both truly human and truly divine, we analysed our work showing his divinity and drew our own sketches to represent Jesus' divinity. Here are some of our representations. We, we be, next we begin to look at the event that took place over Easter week. This starts on Palm Sunday where Jesus is greeted by the crowd as he rides into Jerusalem. This is a reading from Matthew chapter 21 verse 1 to 11. As they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethpage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus said to his disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and at once you will find a donkey tied there with a colt by her. Untie them and bring them back, and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, say that the Lord needs them, and he will send them right away. This took place to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet. Say to daughter Zion, See, your king comes to you, gentle and riding on a donkey, and on a colt the fall of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had instructed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and placed their cloaks on them for Jesus to sit on. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The, the crowd that went ahead of him and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the son of David, 
Let us he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred and asked, Who is this? <coughs> God answered, This is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. After hearing the Bible scripture, we reflected on what it must have been like to be in the crowd whilst Jesus was entering Jerusalem. We concluded that there were two different group feelings. The main crowd were feeling happy and excited that Jesus had come to save them. There were also groups of religious and political leaders that were angry about Jesus' arrival because they thought he had come to take over their land. I welcomed Jesus and I was really happy. Also, I was cheering Hosea. I waved my palm leaves. Also, I broke my coat. I danced all around Jesus and cheered Hosanna again. I heard people chanting, so I walked by. Chanting Hosanna, so I walked by. The last person I wanted to see was there. It was Jesus. How dare he try to take my job? He will pay. The next thing that, that we looked out at was Holy Thursday. This is where the Last Supper took place. Jesus and the disciples visit the Garden of, of Gensmead. He's and Peter asked the lions knowing Jesus. This way was a very sad part of the Easter story. After we had learned about the events that took place, we created storyboards to show what happened and how different people would be feeling throughout the day. You can see examples of our work now. so important that Jesus died on the cross for us. We then wrote prayers to thank Jesus for sacrificing his life for us. Jesus our Saviour, thank you for sacrificing your life for us. I am sorry because I don't listen to my mum. I will try to be better by listening to my mum. You teach us to repent then and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. Acts chapter 3 verse 19. Jesus, our Saviour, thank you for sacrificing your life for us. I am sorry because I don't have much time to pray. I will try to be better by trying to make more time to pray. You teach us to. I will praise you, my God, with all my heart. I will glorify you forever. Amen. We came to Good Friday. This is the saddest part of the Easter story. So we made sure that throughout our learning, we were being respectful and taking Jesus what we were actually in front of. We wrote my an interview with Pilot thinking carefully about the questions we would want to ask him about his decisions. Were you under a lot of pressure? Yeah. Yes, because I could have lost my job. Do you regret this? I do a bit because uh, Jesus is the saviour and he saves us uh, with uh, us people. Do you think Barbara should be free? No, because she's a murderer. The final stop in our learning journey was Easter Sunday. This is where Jesus rose from the dead and visited some disciples. We will play the actions of the believers on Easter Sunday. I acted as a disciple. At the beginning of the day, I was sad because Jesus died. At the end of the day, I feel happiest because Jesus came back. I acted as a, disciple, as, a, as a disciple. At the beginning of the day, I felt sad and miserable because Jesus was dead. At the end of the day, I felt shocked and delighted because Jesus was alive. Thank you for joining us on our virtual assembly. We hope you have enjoyed hearing about our learning about Jesus, our Saviour. Have a look on the website if you are interested in hearing more about this topic. Sing a song, sing a joyful song.